Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Friday. It's Friday. Uh, so I get, I'm about to have my weekend. Um, <clears throat> got my espresso and fresh nails. Very important for me. Um, today, uh, I'm starting with a song that I don't know by a band that I've never heard of. Uh, I was just on my YouTube main page and I saw that this uh, song had been released, like, I think yesterday, 12 hours ago, something like that. And I thought, well, you know, I'm always looking to just branch out a little bit, so we'll check this one out. So this is by a band called Sleep Token, uh, and this song is called The Summoning. Now, based on my analysis of the band name and the, the thumbnail, I'm going to assume this is going to be a heavier song. Uh, so if that's not for you, it's all right. I'm just trying to let you know ahead of time. Uh, a couple things before we get started, though. I am not an expert. Please don't expect me to be going into great depth on, you know, composition and stuff like that. Uh, I can I can talk some about the music, but I'm more, uh, you know, big picture kind of guy. Uh, don't be a dick in the comments. It hasn't really been a big problem on my channel. I'm very happy about that. Um, it is totally fine if you disagree with me. If you don't like my opinion, if you don't like the song, that, that's all all right. Um, but I would ask that we at least keep it, you know, kind of professional, just so that it be doesn't become a nasty place uh, to be at the comment section. And, you know, like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out. helps me know that I'm, I'm doing stuff that people like. Uh, but with all that out of the way, uh, let's get right into it. This is Sleep Token with The Summoning. Trail. 
All right, so first, uh, first reactions. I like the heaviness. The, uh, I'll back up. This band, at first I was like, oh, this kind of reminds me a little bit of Meshuga, um, and maybe a little bit of Chimera, for those of you old heads who remember Chimera. Sort of that down-tuned, chugging, you know, grindy kind of... Um, uh, not not uh, difficult to place a time signature to, right? A lot of Meshuga stuff is kind of like that. Um, but it's it's clear that they're a lot more like between the buried and me, which for better and worse, right? So here's here's my take on between the buried and me. I really like between the buried and me. They're all very very talented. Um, I don't like everything because I don't like every style of music that they play, right? And the the softer vocals and like that that middle I don't know the middle bridge I didn't love in this one it I, I would have preferred I mean I would have preferred if it stayed heavy the whole song personally I did like the ending when it got funky and you got kind of the uh, the guitars just popping in and out as opposed to uh, having steady guitar. I did enjoy that. I liked the, the funkiness of it. Clearly, these guys are guys or girls. I don't know who's in the band. Clearly, these folks are all good musicians. Um, you know, they're capable of switching genres and rhythms and stuff like that uh, internally, which is great. I, I certainly respect that. There was a chunk of the song that I did not particularly enjoy, and I also wasn't prepared for it, right? So there's a certain there's a real possibility that if I listen to this again with a different understanding of who this band is, you know, what sort of music they make, what their, uh, what their focus is, then I might be more appreciative because, you know, I won't be surprised, right? Um, when you're listening to a song that sounds pretty heavy, and then all of a sudden it goes into this, like, noodling prog metal break, that, that doesn't appeal to me too much right that's just not ever the kind of music i've been into i i just have not uh, i had friends in college who were really into dream theater and i'm like I, I couldn't get into it and part of it was it's just this so much of this like synthy noodly guitar and and that's totally fine if that's what you're into um but it's never been one of my big priorities uh but i think if i listen to it again and i may i may i may do more from sleep token um I would have a different appreciation maybe now that I'm prepared for it to change gears like that. Um, you know, but if you listen to Between the Buried and Me and you don't understand that they're going to go from like straight metal to bluegrass in the same song, you're going to have a weird time <laughs> listening to Between the Buried and Me. Um, so I, I think I'll appreciate it more on another listen. I will say the visual was cool. Also, it seems like they've been playing a lot of Destiny. Which is a game that I've never played, but I do know what the like the character models kind of look like. I'm not a true gamer boy. I, I apologize. You know, that's just I I, uh, I didn't grow up doing it. So, uh, but yeah, it did, it did kind of remind me of of Destiny. Uh, overall, this is an interesting song. Like, I'm not. I, I didn't dislike it. I, it's pretty good. There were sections of it that I didn't really vibe with. Right, but. I may appreciate them more as I listen to it in the future. Uh, very talented artists, clearly. And um, uh, an enjoyable listen on the whole. That'll do it for this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. To uh, to all the sleep token heads that find this, hello. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully I didn't say anything out of hand. Um, have a good day, everybody. Stay safe out there. Drink lots of water. And don't talk to cops. <laughs>